Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 8 which is all about the three domain system. This will be the first quarter topic, week 5 and day 4. And this lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to distinguish the fundamental differences among bacteria, archaea, and eukaryotes The second one is to compare and contrast the cellular structures, habitats, and organization of the three domains Such as the bacteria, archaea, and eukarya And the third one is to appreciate the importance of the three domain system for classifying and understanding the diversity of life by answering the guide questions. Introduced by Carl Woese in 1990, the three domain system fundamentally transformed biological classification. This groundbreaking approach replaced the traditional five kingdom model. It redefined how scientists organize all life on earth. The impact continues today. So why a new system was needed? So the first reason is molecular revolution. Advances in molecular biology during the late 20th century provided new tools for understanding evolutionary relationship. Another one is RNA insights. Ribosomal RNA analysis revealed deeper connections between organisms than morphology alone could show. And the third one is prokaryote discovery. So scientists found profound genetic differences among prokaryotes challenging the existing classification system. The foundation RNA sequencing. So the first one is molecular chronometer. So RNA changes slowly over evolutionary time, making it ideal for tracking ancient divergences. The second one is comparative analysis. So 116S RNA was compared across diverse organisms to establish evolutionary relationships. And the third one is evolutionary distance. Differences in sequences indicate the relative time since organisms shared a common ancestor. The following are the characteristics of the three domain. So the first one is bacteria. So it is prokaryotic cell with peptidoglycan cell walls and sensitive to traditional antibiotics. The next one is archaea. It is a prokaryotic cell with unique membrane lipids often found in extreme environments. And the third one is eukarya. It has cells with membrane-bound nuclei and organelles includes all multicellular life. The following are the characteristic subdomain archaea. It's life in extremes. So the first one is extremophiles. Many archaea thrive in environments too harsh for most life. Boiling hot spring, acidic lakes, and salt flats. Another one is unique structure. It possesses distinctive membrane lipids and lack peptidoglycan in cell walls unlike bacteria. And it has ancient lineage. So genetic Genetically distinct from bacteria despite being similar appearance, some feature resemblance eukaryotes. The following are the characteristics of domain bacteria, the ambiguous and diverse. So the first one is cyanobacteria, so photosynthetic bacteria that produce oxygen and it help create Earth's oxygen-rich atmosphere. The second one is soil bacteria. So decomposers that recycle nutrients. So one gram of soil 
contains billions of bacterial cells. And the third one is pathogens. So disease-causing bacteria with specialized mechanisms for infecting hosts and invading immune systems. The following are the characteristics of domain eukarya, the complex multicellularity. So the first one is animals. It has multicellular heterotrophs with specialized tissues. The second one is plants. So plants are photosynthetic organisms with cell walls. The third one is fungi. So it is absorptive nutrition with chitin cell walls. And the last one is protists. It has diverse single-celled eukaryotes. For the work example, let the students accomplish the activity 5.7, which is all about my match-up madness and facilitate classroom discussion. For the objectives, at the end of the activity, the learners are expected to first is to classify the selected organisms based on the three domain system. The second one is to identify the cellular structures, habitat, and scientific name of selected organisms. And for the procedure, based on the pictures, identify the selected organisms using the three domain system classification system and describe the cellular type, habitat, and the scientific name of each organism. And for the guide question, after the students answer all the activity, the students will answer the guide question. For the first question, compare and contrast the three domain system of living organism in terms of first is cellular structure, second habitat, and the third one is organization. And for the second guide question, what are the ecological rules and significance of organisms within each of the three domains in the three domain system. For the lesson activity, let the student accomplish the activity 5.8 which is all about classify me and facilitate the classroom discussion. So for the objectives at the end of the activity, the learners are expected to First is to classify the selected organisms based on the three domain system. The second one is to recognize the fundamental traits and characteristics of the three domain system. For the procedure, first is to identify the characteristics of each domain by arranging it inside the box. The second one is to write the correct sentence of the best answer. For the learner's takeaways, the students will accomplish Activity 9 which is all about the concept map. Let the students supply this concept map to assess learner's learning. And for the reflection on learning, in their notebook, the students will write a journal entry consisting of three to four sentences answering any of the following questions. 